Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel. In one of my previous videos I showed you how to mirror geometry in a sketch. And in this video I'd like to expand on that a bit. I don't use this tool very often myself. However, in some cases this tool can indeed be useful. Before we start, just a quick note, you'll find links to my free CAD mini courses in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel. Now, let's get started. I'd like the geometries that are on the left side of the y-axis to also appear on the right side and these geometries might not be the best example to demonstrate this option because they're simple geometries and creating these geometries from scratch isn't complicated but if you had more complex shapes here it could be useful. So we select the geometries we want to get on the other side of the symmetry axis. We choose the symmetry command and indicate the geometry that will be the symmetry axis. And now, these geometries have appeared on the other side of the symmetry axis. However, these geometries are not linked and I don't use this tool very often and usually I approached it by also adding dimensions and constraints here to define the position of these geometries. But in the comments, you suggested to me that a better use of this command is a situation where we use the symmetry constraint. We simply select the geometry and add symmetry constraints here and with more complex geometries this can make more sense and then it can really streamline and speed up the creation of 3D models. So this is a simple example here but in the case of more complex geometry where the source geometry has many different constraints mirroring it and applying symmetry constraints can indeed be a good idea and can speed up geometry creation. However, if we're doing something like this example, we can approach it in yet another way. I'll create a new project here in the part design module and create a sketch on the XY plane. And here I'll draw a rectangle. We can also approach it in such a way that we first draw a rectangle. Of course, I'm showing this with a simple example here just like before. Then we can simply create these features on one side of the y-axis. Ok, I'll add some constraints and dimensions. Ok, we have something like this, I'm closing this. Based on this geometry, I create, for example, a pocket. Ok, and now for this operation, I'll apply the mirror command to get a copy of this operation on the other side of the symmetry plane. In this case, as the plane relative to which the second copy of this feature will be created, we can choose vertical sketch axis, but we can also choose base YZ plane. I click OK and in this way we've created something like this. And now if I go to edit this sketch and introduce some changes here so it's visible. OK, I'll change this a bit. And the changes have been applied to the copy of this feature that's on the other side of the mirror plane. So as you can see, FreeCAD is a tool that allows you to achieve one thing in several different ways, and each of these ways can be good. Very often there's no single strictly defined approach to creating a given part. Even one simple part can be created in several different ways. Which one you choose very often depends on your preferences and your experience, and you can simply develop this by creating 3D models in FreeCAD. Over time, once you've created several or a dozen 3D models, you'll know which method to use and which method will be better in later stages of the project. But like I say, all of this needs to be developed. You simply need to work with FreeCAD. And really, in the end, what counts is having the finished model. And if, for example, you're making a 3D print based on such a 3D model, no one's going to ask you how you made this model, what operation you used. It's simply the end result that counts. That's all for today's lesson. If you find value in my content, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. You can also support my work by checking out my free CAD mini courses. Links are in the description. Think of it as a virtual coffee. A small thank you that comes with practical free CAD lessons in return. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.